what I would be doing to be sleeping on there tonight. Morning and welcome to Simon Wilson's new weather channel. <laughs> I'm not really starting a weather channel, but today we are starting a new challenge. With these challenges that I've done and challenges I want to do moving forward, I really want to sort of like push the boundaries and put myself out of my comfort zone and achieve things that I want to achieve. Because when I started this YouTube channel, it was all about what I wanted to do to prove that anything's achievable and all that. And I want to keep doing that and I want to keep sort of scaring myself a little bit. And as this grows and I think of new challenges, I want to keep in mind why I started this in the first first place. So, we are starting a new series. So let me explain how this is going to go. Obviously there you've got a map of Europe. We are here in Manchester. From now until Christmas and possibly beyond, we'll see how we go. I am going to be doing mini challenges in random cities across Europe. And by many challenges, I mean three day, no money challenges across Europe. The reason why three days is because I'm gonna be putting one out every single week, a new challenge every week from now until Christmas. Unless I'm making a video about something else, maybe another challenge with Bobby or Tober or something. Right, the rules of these challenges. First of all, no subscriber help at all. If I see you in any of these cities, you're more than welcome to join me on the challenge, but you'll have to leave your purse or wallet at home. You can't provide me with anything, but you can come along for the journey. The second rule is obviously no money at all. I'm taking one bag with me, the same bag that went to Australia, same bag that went across America with no money. It's my camera bag, but I'll probably be able to fit one more set of clothes in. But I am taking no money, no backup, and if you see me in any of these cities, feel free to check all my bag and stuff, because literally when I do these challenges, there is no backup at all. So I think that's about it. If I've forgotten anything, I'll let you know. But the first destination, we're flying this morning, I have never been there before in my life. That's the thing with this challenge as well. I want to keep going to places I've never been before. It might be dangerous. It might be easy. It might be hard. It might be cold. I don't know. We're just going to go to places I've never been before, so I haven't got a clue what's to come. The first destination is Berlin, Germany. So I'm flying from Manchester to Berlin. I've never been to Berlin before in my life. I don't know what to expect, but we're going to find out. See you later, bye. We are in Berlin. There's a bit of a chill about this morning. Is, that, is it colder than the UK? Probably similar at the minute. I am currently in the center of Berlin, literally in some park. The Fernsiturm, is it? The tower, as you can see, is in the back there. Sorry, my German's not too great. In fact, I don't speak German at all, so we'll see how we get on. Before I start this challenge, I just want to say a thank you to Skillshare for supporting me and sponsoring this video. It helps me massively with the cost of flights, camera equipment, but most importantly, it allows me to keep doing what I love doing. Skillshare has 22,000 courses, including videography, like making videos, photography, design, business. So whether you're looking to start a business or learn how to edit videos, Skillshare is a place to go. When I first started making videos, I didn't have a clue how to use that camera or how to edit videos. And when I was looking on Skillshare, one course that I found really useful was video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro 2018 for beginners with Jordi Vanderput. Usually a membership with Skillshare is $10 a month, but they have sorted us right out because the first 400 people to sign up with Skillshare, the link's in description, get Skillshare for two months for absolutely free. 
we love free stuff. So thank you so much for the support because it just allows me to keep going and keep doing what I love doing, like coming to Berlin. I've never been here in my life. I'm excited about it. Although I won't be excited if I've got to sleep rough, so we best make sure that doesn't happen. Right, the plan for today, as with every challenge and 99% of the videos that I've done, there is no plan. All I know is, is that I want to explore, I need to find somewhere to eat, and I need to find somewhere to sleep. And on top of that, I don't know Berlin at all. Neither have I done any research, but I do know like the basic history of World War II and stuff. So I'm gonna go and check out a few sites first. So after approximately 24 minutes walk, I'm now coming to what was Hitler's bunker and the Holocaust Memorial. This is absolutely crazy, so I've just got to this place and this was basically the whole of Hitler's bunker there and then that was it inside. They've built like apartment blocks all around and then it's literally just a car park. The bunker was blown up twice and they just filled it in with complete concrete so you can't literally see anything, it's just a car park. So if you carry on walking down the same road, the car park there and then the Holocaust memorial site is just over the road so I'm gonna have a look at that right so I'm in the memorial now I'm just walking in between all the blocks there's literally hundreds of them and they're all different sizes this is honestly so sad when you watch programs on World War II and read books about it that's bad enough but when you're actually here honestly it's so sad let's see if we can get a different view of it Excuse me, are you English? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, where it's like good to go around here at all? You want to see some sites or something? Yes. Yeah. Did you see the gate? The Brandenburg Gate? I didn't, to be honest. Where's that? <laughs> I've never you heard of it in my you life. You at the memorial. Yeah. If yeah. you just walk on, there's mm. like a big gate there. It's ah, like okay. the Brandenburg Gate. That's like a big thing. So I'm doing like this thing where I'm visiting loads of places I've never visited. Yeah. I'm doing like mini series of like no money in different places. I want to go like the stuff like that. You ever go to America? Yeah, I did it from New York all the way to LA. Did you ever go to Florida, in Orlando? Yeah, yeah, I met a few people there. Because I watched a guy who did the exact same thing, and I'm pretty sure he was like from Wales. Yeah. I think this guy like ended up sneaking into Disneyland. Into yeah, Disneyland. That, that was me. <laughs> no way! Yeah. I know. Oh my god! Yeah. No, there is! Yeah, like the first one, I've watched it all the way through. <laughs> Where can you get free food around here. Is it going to be hard? Yeah, because this is like touristy area. They're all willing yeah. to pay. Can you get samples from somewhere or something like that? Yeah. You could like go to the Christmas market and just be like, hey, can I try this? I'm from like Wales. I don't know what it tastes like. It's like is the Christmas yeah. market open now as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, right it's there. just there. But yeah, if you would have had to like check for a trolley or something, you, you could actually walk. It's like 15 minutes apparently. You walk up here yeah. and then you turn right on Mauerstrasse. Yeah. And literally just head down you there. Say and then you say that so should... like Mauerstrasse. <laughs> Mauerstrasse. Yeah. It's just a German word. And <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard for me. We're here. This is the mall, so like you should be going up there. Yeah, drop me a tweet later then and like catch up later. <laughs> right. Thanks so much for the advice anyway. No no See you later, bye. Such cool people and I cannot believe that they've seen the video, but they are not subscribed. They've only seen one video. I passed them in the street. They didn't message me, so we're all good if I do catch up with them later. They asked for my Twitter, so we'll see if anything comes from it. By the way, if you've not got me on Twitter, it's the same as my Instagram, Simon J. Wiltz. The time now is 2.46 p.m. I've not eaten today so far, so I am starting to get peckish now. But before I worry about food, I'm just gonna go and check this last site out that I wanna check out called Checkpoint Charlie. And it's apparently where the East meet the West. So this is Checkpoint Charlie all around here. There's not a lot going on here, to be honest. There's a big museum behind me, but obviously we've got no money to get in there. And there's people on the door. Let's ask someone what's going on around here. This is the Checkpoint Charlie. Ah, uh, okay. Actually, but the old yard it's Checkpoint Charlie. Yeah, so is the wall around here anywhere, the Berlin so, Wall? You can see on the street this line. This line was the wall. The so wall the wall line, was yeah. through the street? So That's crazy. Wall, I mean, yeah. You walk and you see a, a piece of the wall. Ah, yeah. okay, so it's literally just yeah. down there, yeah. is it? Yeah. Ah, brilliant. Thank yeah. you so much You're for welcome. your help. So with the help of that lady, I've actually figured out what Checkpoint Charlie is now. And it's actually really interesting. So this is where the Berlin Wall was. Literally goes through the middle of the street. And it was literally up. 28 years. So 
So I'm just at Checkpoint Charlie and I've bumped into another Welshman. See, Mate, I didn't even get your name. Declan. Declan. Nice to meet Simon. You, Simon. How are you doing? <laughs> so unfortunately, Declan is a subscriber, so you can't help me out, mate. I'd have been well up for jumping on your floor oh, as well. I already offered the hotel room, haven't we? And I did decline. I can't get any I can help. I can confirm you did decline. Is this your first night here? First, I literally got off the plane about four hours ago. Have you been here before? No, nope, never. No. So first you can't time. even recommend anywhere either. There was a Christmas market, and there seems to be giving out samples over there, though. Free food. Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving, I oh, I walked sure. past there. Yeah, I was yeah. Being so, oh. like, we, we got some. Um, we got to try a bit before we had it because we didn't know what we were gonna have. Because there's a load of stuff there. We said, oh, we're English. We don't know what we're having and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and, mate, I'm going there yeah. now. Yeah, if you ask them nicely, I'm sure they'll give you um, a few samples of something. <laughs> <laughs> Is there enough samples to get there? Like eight stalls or something like that. Uh, I don't think you're gonna get a full meal from it. I don't think. <laughs> we'll try our best, mate. You. Turn on the Welsh charm. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. See, see you yeah, later, mate. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you all anyway. See you later. What a guy. I love coming on these trips and meeting other people, especially when you come to Berlin, someone I've never been before, and you're just bumping into people. It's crazy. It's just gone 4 p.m. I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely starving. I'm thirsty. So I'm gonna head back to that Christmas market that was by the girls I was speaking to earlier. I'm gonna see if Declan's right, get some free samples. Like he said, it's not gonna be a meal, but it'll fill a hole. Oh, what I would be doing to be sleeping on there tonight. So the Christmas market is literally over the road there. Let's see how we get on. Yeah. Hi, how are you? What What is this, sorry? Bread. Is that cheese on it, is it? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> All he sold was chips, bread and cheese. I can hardly say, oh yeah, can I taste the bread, can I? What, what different type of sausages are there? Is it possible just to try a tiny bit of the one with bacon? No. No worries, mate. Um, what do you have? I have chicken with vegetables, pork with onion, mushrooms, sausage, curry, and pork with vegetables. This is a little bit spicy. Would it be possible just to try a tiny yes, bit of that? Of is that okay? Thank you. Because this is famous in Berlin, isn't it? Like, is it curry worse or something? Yes, you know. Ah, thank you very much. Is it possible to try one of these at all? Thank you very much. Ah, thank you. That's amazing. What, what is it? What's it? Pecan. And what's around it? Uh, sugar. Sorry, what, what, what are these? Just Raffaello or is there nuts in it? It is nuts, uh, almonds. Is it possible to try that one? Yes. Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my god. And what are these two? Kugus or Halloween. Oh, pumpkin yes. seeds. Ah, okay. And what's that one? And uh, macadami. Could I try that one? Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that went down like a lead balloon. I got one piece of sausage and three or four nuts. That definitely ain't gonna keep me going. There's a Starbucks just down here, so I'm gonna head in there. I'm gonna get a water. I'm gonna get on my phone, get on the internet, and try and find somewhere to stay tonight. Try Tinder, couch surfing, the usual, and see if we can come up with something. Right, so I'm out at Starbucks, quick update. I went on Tinder, Couchsurfing, Bumble, no really luck on the dating apps. Couchsurfing, I've sent a load of messages out, I've had nothing back yet. I've also not heard off the girl we met earlier, she hasn't tweeted me yet. So we still haven't got a clue what we're doing tonight, but there's still time. But all I know is I am absolutely starving. All I have had is a tiny bit of sausage, a few nuts and about a hundred glasses of water. I need to eat. The only thing is, I don't really want to do the fast food trick on the first night. I don't know, I want to do something different. There's a Hilton Hotel right here. So I am going to scope that out, see if they've got a lounge, or I don't know, let's go and have a look. This is so posh, I'm going to go and check upstairs. They've even got a pianist. Right, so I've just got upstairs. The media center is there. There's a girl behind the desk. And I've just spotted that there's food on the table over there. Just a quick one, is yeah. it possible to have some of that food over there? Normally it's not allowed. Ah, okay, but I'm okay to take some. Thank you very much, thank you. We have just left the hotel, which is there. And honestly, apart from a few cars, this place is a ghost town. Don't get me wrong, the time is 11 minutes 
past 10 but still this quiet really but that's the thing with these challenges though and going to places I've never been before because I could just be in the really quiet area I don't actually know where the busy area is I could even be in the dangerous part for all I know it could actually be a dangerous city but that's what it's all about it's all about the experiences and you know learning new places on a more positive note I did fill my boots with them wraps and fruit in the hotel kept going back cleaned them out so I'm well watered and I'm well fed so at least we're not doing this on an empty stomach unfortunately we didn't get any bites on Bumble or Tinder and the girl we met earlier she hasn't tweeted me either so I think we're in for a cold night my thought process now and I've been walking since I left that hotel is to go back where I was this morning sort of by that park which is really center and just see if it's a bit busy around there maybe check out a hotel or a hostel see if I can get in there and see if there's somewhere to sleep let's find something because I ain't sleeping outside tonight so I'm in the dead center of Berlin now and as you can see it is still really quiet I need to find a hotel or a hostel so I can get somewhere warm there's a park in by Radisson which is that big building there there's a couple of hostels down the road so I can't find the hostels I wanted to try a hostel tonight but we've got an ibis there in green we've got Hotel Indigo which is there and then we've got the green holiday in there in the back I'm gonna try holiday in first Right, so no one said anything. The reception's over there. These look too comfy, so I'm gonna see how long I can stay on here for. Update, we are still on the couch. Reception is over there. The time now is 1.23 a.m. and I'm absolutely knackered. The guy behind reception said hello a couple of times. He seems pretty decent, so fingers crossed he won't make me move. I'm gonna call it a day there. Have a good one and let's see what day two brings. I'll see you tomorrow.